who was Celine Dion's husband René Angelil, what was their age gap and when did he die? In 2016 Celine Dion's husband René Angelil passed away after years of battling throat cancer. The superstar singer told the son she misses him every day. We take a look at their relationship and his struggles with the disease. Who was René Angelil? The late René Angelil was born on January 16, 1942 and was a Canadian musical producer, talent manager and singer. He was the manager and husband of singer Celine Dion. In 1980 he was sent the tape of the then 12-year-old Celine, and invited her to audition. He began managing her career, taking the team and her mother on tour in Canada, Japan and Europe. He mortgaged his house to finance her first album in 1981. When did Renee Angelil meet Celine Dion? When did they get married? Renee and Celine began a personal relationship when she was 18, and he, 46. They married on December 17, 1994, in a lavish wedding ceremony at Montreal's Notre Dame Basilica, which was broadcast live on Canadian television. The couple had difficulty conceiving, resorting to IVF. Their son, René Charles Angelil, was born in 2001. Celine suffered a miscarriage in 2009 but then went on to give birth to twin boys in October 2010. The boys were named Eddie, after Eddie Marnie, who produced Celine's first five albums, and Nelson Angelil, after former South African President Nelson Mandela. America singer Pink wrote a song for Celine following Renee's death which she dedicated to the victims of the 2017 Manchester and London terror attacks during a performance at the O2 in June. When and how did Renee Angelil die? Renee suffered a heart attack in 1991 at the age of 49. In 1999 he was diagnosed with throat cancer and made a full recovery after treatment. In 2009. René reportedly underwent a heart-related medical procedure to deal with arterial blockage. In December 2013 he had more surgery for throat cancer. In June 2014 René stepped down as wife Celine's manager to focus on his health, but was still involved in business decisions related to her career. In September 2015 Celine announced that René's cancer had progressed and that he had only months to live. René died on January 14, 2016 two days before his 74th birthday and the death of his own brother-in-law, Daniel Dion. He received a national funeral service at Notre Dame Basilica Montreal from the government of Quebec on January 22, 2016. René is survived by his wife, six children, and seven grandchildren.